Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the velocity of an aircraft if an aircraft experiences the same dynamic pressure for different altitudes. Consider a P-35 aircraft which experiences a certain dynamic pressure at its cruising speed of 114.2 meter per second at an altitude of 4 km and free stream density in 0.81935 kg per meter cube. Now assume the P-35 is flying at sea level. At what velocity must it fly at sea level to experience the same dynamic pressure? Given data, here an aircraft is flying at cruising speed V1, 114.2 meter per second at 4 km altitude and free stream density rho is 0.81935 kg per meter cube. At 4 km, aircraft feels a certain dynamic pressure. Now the question is, what is the velocity if the aircraft experiences the same dynamic pressure at sea level? We know that dynamic pressure is the increase in the moving fluid's pressure over its static value due to motion. It's defined by Q is equal to 1 by 2 into rho into V square, where the values of rho and V are given. Now substitute those values in this equation and simplify. We get dynamic pressure Q1 is 5.343 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter square. For an airplane to experience the same dynamic pressure, its new velocity v suffix e must satisfy dynamic pressure q1 so we can write q1 is equal to 1 by 2 into rho into v suffix e square we know that at sea level density rho is 1.23 kg per meter cube now substitute q1 and rho values and solve we get the required velocity v suffix e is 93.2 meter per second. Consider an airplane flying at some true airspeed at some altitude. Its equivalent airspeed at this condition is defined as the velocity at which it would have to fly at standard sea level to experience the same dynamic pressure. In this problem, we have the P35 flying at an altitude of 4 km at a true airspeed of 114.2 meter per second and simultaneously at an equivalent airspeed of 93.2 meter per second. Did you know any free moving liquid in outer space will form itself into a sphere because of its surface tension? The Apollo 11 the computer that put man on the moon in 1969 operated on 64 kilobyte memory whereas today's kids have 64 gigabyte iPhones to click selfies. The earth itself is around 4.5 billion years old and the oldest rocks we have ever found are little over half that age. That seems to have changed. However, because a group of scientists recently announced they have found a rock that formed only half a billion years after the earth itself. The twist is that this particular rock was not discovered on earth at all. It was found on the moon. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care. Stay blessed, inspired and fly high.